Warfare prayer is a violent prayer, to possess your possessions. Because the enemy the devil doesn't allow the will of God for us to manifest with ease, without a contest. And as such, you need warfare prayers to contain him. So as to have your freedom and blessings. You need this warfare prayer to fulfill your God-ordained destinies. For the Bible says in St. Matthew chapter 11 verse 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. This was the definition of the time we are in it in the present. Devil rarely gives up or surrenders without a contest, even though he has been defeated by Christ our Lord on the cross of Calvary. Let dwell on Revelation for a moment, you will see what the Lord is telling us here. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11 And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. And Revelation 5 verse 5 says, And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, hath prevailed to open the book, and to loose the seven seals thereof. Verse 6 And I beheld, and, lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. Verse 7 And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. Revelation chapter 5 verse 8 And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps, and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. Verse 9 And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book, and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain, and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred, and tongue, and people, and nation. Verse 10 And hast made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Revelation chapter 5 verse 11 And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders, and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands. Verse 12 Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, and riches, and wisdom, and strength, and honor, and glory, and blessing. Verse 13 And every creature which is in heaven, and on the earth, and under the earth, and such as are in the sea, and all that are in them, heard I saying, Blessing, and honor, and glory, and power, be unto him that sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb for ever and ever. Revelation chapter 5 verse 14 And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth for ever and ever. Those are exactly what Christ has wrought for us, the victory he has won for us. But we still need faith and warfare prayers to establish this victory, and to walk in dominion over Satan the devil. And that's why today, as we engage in warfare prayers, every mountain, erected by the devil against your health, wealth, progress, prosperity, and your destiny manipulation shall crumble. In the name of Jesus. For our God is the man of war. He does not lose any battle and he has never lost any battle. As a matter of fact, God has got no battles to fight, for none can battle with him. He is the creator and the maker of all things. So who can battle him or who can withstand him? He created all things according to his pleasure. Revelation chapter 4 verse 11. Thou art worthy, O Lord to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. So who is that creature that will or can challenge his creator to battle? There is no such. We only battle the devil through warfare prayers to establish the victory that has been handed down to us. As we're evident in the scriptures that we have read. Because until you assert or exercise your rights in redemption, the devil has got to be expropriating and appropriating your redemption packages. And as I pray for you now, every of your confiscated and expropriated privileges shall be released and handed back to you in the name of the resurrected Jesus Christ. Everything that belongs to you shall be relinquished unto you, in the name of Jesus. Your rights and privileges by the virtue of redemption through faith in Christ Jesus shall be restored, by fire and by the force of the victory of Christ. In the name of Jesus. 
Let us pray. Father in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the redemption we have got through your death and resurrection. Thank you for the gift of the name Jesus. Whom at the mention of it, every knee bows and every tongue confesses that Jesus is the Lord. Therefore, Father Lord, I come in the power and authority of this name. With the name of Jesus, I reverse satanic plan and programming against everyone watching this video. In the name of Jesus. I blot out every handwriting of ordinances that was against you, which was contrary to you, and I take it out of the way, and nail it to the cross of Jesus Christ as is written in Colossians chapter 2 verse 14. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross, in the name of Jesus Christ. I cancel and counteract every enchantment, every divination, every programming against the destiny of every listener. In the name of Jesus. For as it is written in Numbers chapter 23 verse 23. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel, according to this time it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what hath God wrought? Therefore in the name of Jesus, I cancel every act of wickedness against every listener here. In the name of Jesus. I annul the satanic decision against every of my listener now. In the name of Jesus. I demolish every altar speaking failure, demotion, humiliation, and stagnation against the life and destiny of every listener. In the name of Jesus. I reverse generational or territorial curses affecting the life and progress of my listeners in the name of Jesus. For Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is every one that hangeth on a tree. Therefore every curse or indicator of the existence of a curse in the life of every listener is routed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, dear Father Lord, because it is done, for I prayed in the almighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Congratulations. For further assistance particularly as it relates to prayers and counseling, you may indicate interest in the comment box. Congratulations once more. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video, subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.